All right, here we have to solve a trigonometric equation. So I notice I have sine 2x on one side and cosine x on the other side. So I have a double angle. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just apply the double angle formula. So we have sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. And that's going to be equal to cosine x. Now, I'm going to get all the terms on the same side, 2 sine x cosine x minus cosine x, and that'll be equal to 0. When I do that, notice cosine x now becomes a GCF. So I can factor that out. So cosine x, when I factor that out, I'll be left with 2 sine x minus 1. And then setting each factor equal to 0, we have cosine x equals 0, or 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. OK, we can solve each one of those individually. Here, if I solve for sine x, I'll have 2 sine x equals 1, sine x equals 1 half. So that's going to have a q1 answer because it's positive and also a q2 answer. Now, when I'm looking at cosine x equals 0, we can see on the unit circle, cosine is 0 at 90 degrees and 270 degrees. OK, so right here we know x is equal to 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to tack on 360 degrees times n and get all coterminal angles there. And then 270 degrees plus 360 degrees n, all coterminal angles there. Those are quadrantal. OK, now for sine x equaling 1 half, we know the reference angle is going to be sine inverse of 1 half, which is 30 degrees. So sine equaling 1 half is going to be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So in quadrant 1, x equals x hat. So in quadrant 1, we know x equals 30 degrees plus 360 degrees times n. There's all solutions um, coterminal in quadrant 1. And then here in quadrant 2, we are looking for this angle here, x. Now for the quadrant 2 answer, we'll take 180 minus the reference angle. So we have x equals 180 degrees minus the reference. So 180 degrees minus 30 degrees is 150 degrees. And then we'll tack on our 360 n. Right? And there's all the solutions coterminal in quadrant 2. So these are all the solutions to this original trigonometric equation. Notice we had to use a trig identity and then find a GCF.